Hey, what's going on everybody? It's EP here, and we're going to take a break from our normally scheduled signal diverter programming. And we are going to talk about this here guitar that I have got. And today, I wanted to come down to the park and talk to you about it. And it turns out it's a national day of prayer. And behind me, you can see that there's uh, different people that are going around to different stations and they're talking to different folks. And uh, it's a pretty appropriate day to bring a guitar that's wrapped in the pages of Proverbs. And several people have already come up and talk to me about it and the reason I'm making this video today is so I can talk to you about this and basically this is a four dollar guitar that I bought at a thrift store about five years ago and I took it over to Southeastern Guitar Repair said it was in pretty good shape. There wasn't a whole lot they could do. It wasn't really bent or needing a repair or anything. They put some new strings on it. I played it for a year or two and I always had this idea of cover, covering it with Bible pages. And uh, I kind of figured I had nothing to lose if I ruined the guitar. I was just going to be out, you know, four bucks or whatever. So uh, I had to look and get a large print Bible because, you know, Bible pages tend to be kind of thin and I was worried you really couldn't see what was going to be written here. So I had to find a large print Bible and then I just got some, um, well, I'm called shellac at the Home Depot. And I had to do two layers on each side so it was like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I had to do it, let it dry, trim off the excess, do it again, and I get so much attention with this guitar if I take it out anywhere, anytime. People just spot it. Uh, see, there's the bell there, so they're going to switch speakers now. So everyone's going to go to the next station here. It's super busy in downtown Gainesville today. But I just wanted to make a quick video about this guitar because it really inspires people because anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. And I've talked with people about putting cartoon pages on a guitar. A guy um, at Ponce de Leon Music, I showed him and he was like, wow, he's like, you know, I really want to do something for my son. And he thought if he could put cartoon pages on a guitar, that would be really cool for him. But you could put anything. You could put famous literature, old newspapers, really any, anything at all. And I just did this really rough and I put the pages on then I cut it all off with a straight razor. So, I mean, there's dents and dings and tears and rips in it, but that just adds to the personality. I'd say it's been about, oh, maybe two, three years since I've done it, and it's starting to get a little bit of a, like a nice golden age to it in spots. But I really just wanted to say to folks that it's real easy to cover your guitar. All you need is some polyurethane and some sheets and, uh, I think the guitar actually sounds better since I put the polyurethane on it. This is a Jom guitar, and near as I can tell, these are like $79 brand new. So, it's just so cool, and it's so unique, and you know, no one's ever the first person to really do anything. I'm sure people have put graphics on guitars before, but I've never seen anybody put a Bible on a guitar. And uh, I really, especially down here in, in Georgia, get just tons and tons of attention with this wherever I take it out. And uh, yeah, so if you've got an old guitar laying around and you want to give it some new life, just go get yourself uh, some polyurethane. And um, I think I got the extra thick polyurethane, FYI. I think either one would work. And. Yeah, just have at it, and you could wind up with a real eye-catching, unique instrument. So, um, I guess I'm your motivational speaker today, and um, that's about it. Uh, the only other news I got is there is a fresh batch of signal diverters available from the factory, ordered direct from the factory, made in America. I'm going to try to do some videos on that later, uh, but today I really just wanted to come on out here to the park in Gainesville and uh, talk to you and sort of show you this guitar and explain how I made it and maybe just 
inspire folks. When I get uh, rich and famous, I'm maybe going to go and buy myself 10 or 20 guitars, and then I'll just rewrap them and put them all up on uh, Reverb or eBay. Uh, but seriously, like, this is something great you can do to dress up a super cheap guitar as well and uh, make it really interesting. And of course, you know, you can put whatever you want on here. You got a favorite book, a favorite cartoon, maybe a favorite movie poster or a graphic novel or something. Just put it right on your guitar and. Uh, One of a kind, one of a kind.